friends welcome to our youtube channel electronics for you friends in this video uh, i will solve the problem using mesh analysis here is the problem find the value of i3 using mesh analysis so we have to find this current this current is i3 using mesh analysis now you can see here that it is consisting of some voltage sources and uh, some resistances as well as some reactances so definitely it is an ac circuit so it is an ac analysis problem now we will use mesh analysis to loop one so we will apply kvl to loop one you can write loop one or a mesh one it is a mesh individually this is i1 this is i2 and this is i3 loop one itself is the current that is flowing through the loop one is i1 and therefore here if you want to apply the mesh analysis so here this is your 4 ohm value and this is minus j 4 ohm if you are starting from this point so the current will encounter these two different values here one is resistance and another one is reactors the simple formula is r plus j xl where xl or xc uh, let it be xl x only that is xl may be the resistance offered by inductor that is inductive reactance and xc is the resistance offered by capacitor that is capacitive reactance so we have to write it in the form of r plus jx so the total resistance that is impedance will be a 4 and here it is minus j4 so 4 minus j4 now the current i1 is flowing so it is i1 the next one is this one let it be of g 10 ohm this inductance is of j 10 ohm and the current i1 is flowing but in this reactance the current i1 as well as i2 is flowing so with right here plus j 10 times we are writing it for loop 1 so it is i1 minus i2 because our primary current is i1 and you can see here that the direction of i1 is here downward and i2 is upward that is they are opposite to each other so this minus sign will be there and for this 10 ohm resistance that is plus 10 you can see here again that i1 and i3 are opposite to each other so it is i1 minus i3 equal to kvl is sum of potential drops is equals to sum of emf you can see here that all these were potential drops and now emf means our voltage source is here and it is of 20 angle 0 so this is our after applying kvl this is we will get this equation now we have to simplify this equation so we will just add all the currents i1 here this is i1 this is i1 as well as this one is i1 so after adding this we will get 14 times this resistance is of 14 ohm plus j6 i1 then i2 is negative here the only one i2 is there and it is minus j10 I2 and again the third one is I3 and only one I3 is there it is minus 10 times I3 which will be equals to 20 angle 0 this is our voltage source let it be equation number 1 now let us apply KVL to loop 2 so applying KVL to loop 2 we will get 
you can either write loop or mesh see uh, we can start from this point but uh, it will be emf so sum of potential drop is equals to sum of emf we can further uh, consider this 20 ohm resistance so it will be 20 times the current flowing is only i2 so 20 i2 plus now see this one this is 4 ohm resistance and j4 ohm reactance is there so and current i2 is flowing i2 and i3 both current are flowing and they are having opposite direction to each other so it is 4 minus j4 ohm resistance and i2 and i3 both are opposite to each other so we will write i2 minus i3 why i2 minus i3 because we are writing for loop 2 so i2 will be primary current here and here i3 is the current which is flowing in opposite direction so it should be minus i3 now let us talk about this j10 ohm resistance so again plus j10 j10 times you can see here that it is i2 primary current is i2 here and the current i1 is flowing in opposite direction so therefore it is i2 minus i1 which will be equals to now see here that the direction of assumed current and the polarity of voltage sources are opposite to each other so we can write here minus 10 angle 30 or a second option is if you are moving in this direction and here this is the second sign you can choose the second sign that is negative here therefore it is minus 10 angle 30 degree always choose the second sign of the power supply so it will be negative after simplifying we will get we will get minus 10 minus j10 i1 plus 24 j i6 i2 minus 4 minus j4 i3 so what we have done we have just separated all i1 i2 and i3 terms and we have written like this it was i2 minus i1 so we will write here i2 minus i1 now this is our equation number two now similarly applying we can apply kvl to loop three try to apply kvl to loop three and try to solve it what we will get we can start from this point so we will start with this point it is 10 ohm now this 10 ohm through this 10 ohm i1 and i3 is flowing so it will be 10 times i3 minus i1 right we are writing for loop loop 3 so we will write i3 first as the direction of i1 and i3 are opposite to each other through 10 ohm so it is i3 minus i1 now similarly this current is uh, this uh, impedance is here so let let me write it as 4 minus j4 the current flowing is i3 as well as i2 so it is i3 minus i2 and the last current uh, last resistance is this 20 ohm so 20 times i3 equals to 0 this will be the loop equation now we can simplify it to minus 10 times i1 then minus 4 minus 4 j4 i2 and last is plus 34 times 34 minus j4 times i3 equals to 0 as no emf is there in loop 3 so it will be your equation number 3 now you are having equation 1 equation 2 and equation 3 this is our these are our three equations you can write it into matrix form and further you can solve it so i will write this in the matrix form here i have just written this equation in matrix form you can see here that this is coefficient of i1 so it is written here 
then coefficient of i2 that is minus j10 is written here and minus 10 i3 this was one for the first loop then for second loop it is 20 sorry it is minus j10 so minus j10 24 plus j6 24 plus j6 it is positive and then negative 4 minus j4 negative 4 minus j4 is there similarly for loop 3 it will be 10 i1 minus 4 minus that is negative 4 minus j4 and last one is 4, 34 minus j4 okay uh, equal to 0 equal to 0 is here so we have to write this coefficient in this matrix then this one will be the three different variables that should be written in column matrix i1 i2 i3 and similarly this constant that is 20 angle 30 uh, 20 angle 0 minus times 10 angle 30 and 0 will be written here so this is our matrix form now we have to solve it by using Kramer's rule so I will delete it we have to solve by Kramer's rule so by Kramer's rule I can write now what we have to find we have to find the delta that is determinant of this matrix so we will write a determinant of this matrix here that is 14 plus j4 minus j10 minus 10 minus j10 then it is 24 plus j6 and negative 4 minus j4 and last one is minus 10 negative 4 minus j4 and last one is 34 minus j4 now we have to find the determinant of this matrix I think you know the procedure if you know the procedure you can directly uh, move toward the time which is shown on the screen and you can further see the answer this is i uh, this is delta that is determinant determinant we can be written as this 14 plus j4 times now multiplication of these two minus multiplication of these two that is 24 plus j6 into 34 minus j4 okay so multiplication of these two minus multiplication of this one so so negative negative it will be positive and further minus multiplication of these two is 4 minus j4 into 4 minus j4 similarly this will be positive this will be negative and this will be positive again so again now you have to consider this one that is minus j10 minus times minus j10 multiplied by multiplied by these terms which terms so we have to leave this row and this column so multiplication of this two that is minus j10 times this one 34 minus j4 minus so it will be minus into minus that is positive sign will be here it is 10 multiplied by 4 minus j4 and last term is this minus 10 multiplied by multiplication of these two and multiplication of these two so i will write the same on the next line therefore it is minus 10 into minus j10 that is multiplication of these two multiplied by negative negative let it be positive negative times negative it will be positive so j10 times 4 minus j4 and then minus this multiplication will be negative so it will become positive so 10 times 4 minus j4 now you can solve this this three uh, these three terms and uh, simplify it simple after simplifying you will get the answer and you can use calculator also if it is allowed 
then you will get answer as one 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 two zero plus j five two double zero. This is delta. That is determinant of this matrix. Now this is delta, and we have to find the value of i three. As the question is given was. Find the value of i3. So we need not to calculate i1 and i2. We can directly calculate i3 only by using the formula for i3. So what I will do? I will replace this column, this column by this term. So if we consider this b, we will replace this column with this b to find delta i3. We are solving it by Cramer's rule. It is expected that you are Aware of Cramer's rule, so I will write column wise first. Now, what we have to do? We have to replace this third column by this column that is twenty angle zero, then. Negative ten angle thirty degree and zero. The same. Uh, it is determinant of. So let me write it as determinant. We have to calculate determinant of this matrix now, and it will be nothing but I three. You can solve it and check what the answer will be. After solving, we will get a pi u two. Four seven point one eight. The same procedure that we have used here. It is fourteen times this multiplication minus this multiplication. Then minus times minus j ten multiplied by this two minus multiplication of this two. And last one twenty angle uh, zero degree multiplied by this j ten and four minus j four plus this one. Plus means uh, uh, otherwise it is minus, but otherwise uh, as the sign of this ten is negative only, so it will become positive to ten times twenty four minus j six. After solving this, you will get five two four seven point one eight plus j times one zero one one point one zero. So this is your. Delta I three. Now the formula for I three by Cramer's rule itself will be I three is equals to delta I three upon delta. Maybe notations that you used in mathematics uh, are different. So here, this one is the formula. After putting value, you will get the value of current as zero point four double two minus. J one zero six. Sorry, it is point one zero six. It will be point one zero six. Zero point one zero six. So after solving this, you will get this one. And uh, if you want to convert it into polar form, then the answer will be zero point. Four three pi u angle minus fourteen point one six. This is the exact value in polar form for the current. As the current is here, the unit will be ampere, and this is your final answer for the same. Thank you. And friends, if you like this video, please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for notification. and like comment and share thank you